that were, that were working in the public sector, and I was a teacher for years, watching the distress that war caused, caused among my colleagues and pupils, and that will be replicated nationwide. So as individual and somebody's part of work collectives as well as the peace movement, this is important and to be welcomed. And I think as Lindsay German said, just the beginning of the process. What do you think the outcome is for me? Um, the ruination of any credibility Tony Blair had as a politician or statesman. Uh, it will completely vindicate the peace movement in its, in its actions, uh, its energy and its drive. And I personally think we should go to The Hague as a war criminal. Tamar Abdel Wahid, 27, on the 28th of March 2003. Nija Abdel Rida, 27, on the 28th of March 2003. Najia Hussein, Agent Moon, on the 28th of March 2003. I'm here today um, to try and pursue justice for Tony Blair, um, to ensure that he answers for the crimes that he has committed over many years. With Millions of lives. My name is Tony Blair. I'm a former soldier last year to Iraq. I'm, I'm a US Air Force officer. I'm an ex-serviceman. So I'm now a war poet. Um, and I'm very conscious of the fact once servicemen leave the forces, they are left to their own devices. I write many poems about the homeless servicemen and those who are just left to fend for themselves. God does not see war as the, the way of solving problems. So we take the Christian point of view, the Christian passage to here. What about the just war theory? Well, I'm not sure you can point that there's ever been a just war. I certainly don't believe that war has ever solved any problems. All it does is create war. I'm a deacon uh, in the Methodist Church. I was ordained on Sunday. I really want um, truth and whatever that may be. Uh, but really justice for people who feel that they haven't had justice, whether it's Iraqi families or military families. I mean, I, so many here are kind of former veterans and I just feel that at the time, a lot of young men, women would have signed up to the army, uh, promised a great career and, and then suddenly it, they were sent to the front in Iraq, which that hadn't even been on the horizon really when they would have signed up. And although, yes, they are signing up to fight a war, at the time we thought it was a peaceful time and they just didn't really know what they were going into. Uh, my personal view is we, we should never have gone to war. We don't know enough about the Middle East um, and the interventions we're trying to do today. The whole roots, theologically, we just go back in the Bible, it, it, it goes back over thousands of years, the problems in the Middle East, and we as Westerns are not going to solve those problems. Uh, you know, we need to help them solve the problems, but going in and declaring war and usurping people is not the way to do it.